Hello and happy Sunday. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, June the 9th, still in 2024, but we are sliding down the second half of this year. Welcome, welcome everybody. I hope you all have had a fantastic week and I hope you haven't had too many summer challenges yet. We're going to talk about those here in a few minutes, but we have had a great week here in Knoxville. We've had some crazy weather again, but oh well, my garden is absolutely loving it. We've got a baby yellow squash. We've got some baby tomatoes coming up. Um, I mean, like an actual baby yellow squash. It's like that big. And my friend Kelsey, who has a competing garden, she has already had a patty pan squash. Hello, Elaine. It's good to see you. So yeah, let me know how y'all are doing and let me know if you've got any um, little summer things planned or if you've got any, uh, you know, summer gardens going or anything like that so that I can compete with you too. Yeah. Hello, Katie. And hello, Marianne. If you are brand new, please let us know because we would love to welcome you. Hello, John at Home Base. I know you have a garden because you're working on mine. And hello, Lynn. Um, we did sidetrack just a little bit from last week's chat about what we were going to do in the garden. So I'll have to show you all pictures of that later because we switched it up just a little bit from what John was talking about doing. Um, and let's say hello, Trish. I think I already said that. Hello, Sarah from Raleigh, Massachusetts. Hello, Mary from Pittsburgh. And hello, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. But if you're new, let us know because we would love to welcome you. Everybody here is super, super friendly, and we would love to say hi and hello to you. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. I'd love it if you'd say hello over there as well. And hello, Vicki from Illinois. Hello, Sandra from Naperville. Good to see you. I'm glad everybody's popping in here. I hope everybody had a great holiday week. The holiday was actually two weeks ago, but I know some of you all started the holiday on Monday and then just like went throughout the entire week, and that is a okay. You don't have to have it leading up to that. Um, but again, this is Sunday, June the 9th. I am Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. We've got lots to talk about tonight. I know I say that every week, but we really seriously do. Like I was reading my notes today and thinking, hmm, we're not going to get all of this covered. So I'm going to go ahead and start talking. And while everybody is popping in here, hello, Sherry, good to see you. First thing is today is the first day of the water challenge. Sorry, let me, I got to say hello to another Sherry. Hello, Sherry from um, Florida or another Sherry, hello, and hello, Carol Lou. Um, today is the first day of the water challenge over in the If You Have an Egg group. If you are not already there, one of these lovely ladies would love to um, let you in, would love to send you a link to invite you on over there. Uh-oh, Orlando Debbie says it is, oh goodness, from hot Florida. It's 97 there and feels over 100. Yikes, 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 yikes. And hello, Sherry, from also from Florida, from Cape Coral, Florida. So is it also hot in Cape Coral? Hello, Hattie, because I don't even know how close that is to Orlando. Um, but yeah, so it's this is perfect timing. Then. It is perfect timing for Julie's water challenge over in the If You Have an Egg Facebook group. It doesn't mean you have to get in the water. You are certainly welcome to get in the water if you want to, but it means you need to get some water in. So Julie thought it would be a great time to circle back around to this challenge. Again, you're not competing with anybody but yourself, and it's just a friendly reminder to drink some water every day. Um, but Julie thought it would be a great time since it is starting to get hot in so many places. And since we are super close to the actual official start of summer, thank you, Carol Lou, for posting um, the link to the Facebook group. Just remember, if you hop over there after the chat, after the chat, don't leave the chat. If you all hop over there um, to go ahead and uh, join the If You Have an Egg Facebook group, which is a closed group you have to request to join, pretty please remember to answer those three questions so I can let you in. Pretty, 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 please. Okay, second bit of news. Thursday is my birthday. It's my 57th birthday. So I'll be closer to John, yeah, for a short period of time, for three months every year. He's two years older than me. And Thursday, he'll just be one, one year older than me. So anyway, just saying, Thursday's my birthday. Don't know what I'm doing. I asked Alyssa, let's see, yesterday I took Alyssa to a swimming party for one of her friends, and I said, do you know what Thursday is? No, no, no. You don't have any idea what Thursday is? No, no, no. It's June 13th. Okay. I said, do you know what June 13th is? No, 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 no. Anyway, I had to tell her. So I have a feeling nothing special is planned, but that's a-okay. When you get to be my age, it's okay. Okay. Then a week from Thursday, and thank y'all for the birthday wishes. Then a week from Thursday, June the 21st, is the official first day of summer. Okay, I'm almost 57 years old, and I did not realize that the official first day of summer is on June 21st every year. I didn't know that. I had no idea. I don't know. I just thought they were picking a day. Am I the only person on the planet? I thought it had something to do with summer solstice. Sol solstice. Ooh, I can't even say it. Summer solstice. I thought it had something to do with that. Apparently, it's June the 21st every year, like Christmas. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, and hello, man. Good to see you, and thank you. Um, yeah, so... 
that is the following Thursday. So this coming Thursday in what, four days is my birthday. And then June the 21st is, I didn't realize that the beginning of June every year is exactly a week after my birthday. Is that right? Am I crazy? Okay, so do you find it easier or harder? And Danielle says, yeah. Okay, so I just didn't know it. And hello, Danielle. So do you find it easier or harder to stay on track during the summer? Gwen asked us that Tuesday night during our meeting and a lot of hands went up for easier, but I'm just curious, do you find it easier or harder to stay on track once that season is officially in swing? And then last but not least, we're going to need some help. I don't know what to ask for, for yet, but do submit to a, some expected budget cuts at John's real job. My budget for groceries has been so all this um, kind of frivolous spending I've been doing on um, grocery hauls and um, Aloha Kathy on grocery hauls, buying new foods to try, gadgets to show you all, um, tr uh, expenses to keep the blog and the chats going, you know, all that kind of stuff. All that just got cut. <coughs> so yeah, all that got cut, like completely, like completely cut. That entire budget just got cut. So... If you find any new foods or any new gadgets or things like that that you'd like for me to try out, please feel free to use the address that will be posted at the bottom of all of the chats from now on. So it's going to have an address. If you have something that you want me to try and you'd like for me to test it for everybody, um, you can mail them to that, adder to that address. And it will be at the end of every chat on the um, printed part at the one that will be posted on if you have an egg.com. Um, or if you want to send a coupon for it to you know, help save a little bit. Hello, Sylvia. Um, or even just a tiny gift card if you want me to be able to purchase it, to be able to try it for everybody, that would be so appreciated. Um, I'm also going to be checking into some other ways to help support our efforts um, financially. I'll let you know what I keep up with, what I come up with. Um, I've never wanted to do this, but yeah, my budget just got whacked. So yeah, um, and it's official now, so the budget is officially whacked. Uh, if you could... Um, keep sending those stars during the Facebook live chats. Those are fantastic. Keep watching the YouTube videos. I get a tiny, tiny, the tiniest little bit when you all watch the YouTube videos. Um, and I so appreciate it when you all use the affiliate links to purchase um, things that I have, uh, that I've posted from Amazon. Again, it is the tiniest little bit of money, but I have managed because I knew this day was coming. I have managed to say from where you all have um, clicked on affiliate links for Amazon, I have $47 in my little Amazon, in my little Amazon, um, gift, you know, thing, whatever. I have, I have saved up $47 in there. So I'm already going, okay, I can't spend money anywhere else. $47, $47. What do we need to try out? That's only $47. Anywho. And yes, Sarah, I know. Yeah. Officially whacked. She knows the feeling. So, okay. That's my last little bit of news. Um, last week was chat number 366 and I need to know who attended an in-person workshop. So give me some thumbs ups. If you went to an in-person workshop last week, I know a couple of you all did because I saw you there. So in per, uh, thumbs ups for in-person workshops. And let's see if our thumbs up thing is working today. See if I can make it do it. Nope, it's going to argue with me today. So thumbs ups for in-person workshops. Um, and Or if you went attended any Zoom workshops last week. Good job, everybody. And hearts. Oh, thank you, Carol Lou. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Carol Lou. It was so sweet that she just sent 235 stars. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Um, hearts, if you went to, uh, if you were here with us live last week or if you watched later. Oh, good. The hearts are working. Awesome. We'll see if the thumbs ups will start working now. Thumbs ups. Nope. We're only going to get hearts. So yeah, only hearts for us on, um, on Facebook live tonight. Awesome, everybody. Good job attending during the summer. Well, it's not officially summer yet. It's not officially summer for another week. So good job, everybody. Here are your Bravo stickers for attending those in-person workshops, Zoom workshops, or for being here with us live um, last week. Good job, good job. So I mentioned it was chat number 366 last week. That does mean that there are 365 other chats that you could go watch on YouTube and help me get a teeny, 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 tiny little amount, little tiny bit of money so that I could use it to get some, I saw some new things at Kroger today that I wanted to try and I had my hand out and I was like, nope, can't get those this week. I'll have to wait until next week. So you, you know, if you go watch those other 365 videos, little teeny tiny bit, maybe I can get those for next week. But last week we were talking about, um, if there were people in your life that were helping or hurting, um, your progress. So I used to have a food pusher in my life that 
had the best, best, best intentions, but every day every day was a challenge because i felt like food was being pushed um sometimes uh, you have real life influencers hello joycelyn sometimes you have real life influencers in your life like her that are either that are either hurting your progress or they're helping your progress um, Casey is all on board right now. She's not doing Weight Watchers, but she is counting her calories voraciously. That has been a fantastic support. John has been helping me with the garden. Awesome support. So we spent a lot of time last week talking about you need to surround yourself with people, whether they're real live people, you know, well, hopefully they're real live people, but people in person, if it's people, you know, over the internet, if it's people that you interact with at work, just a waiter or a waitress. Um, but could you connect more with those people that are helping your progress? Or is there a way that you could connect a little bit less with those people? So your homework for last week was hashtag social swap. And I wanted you to pick somebody, just, just go find one person that you could disconnect from. You could unsubscribe from, um, for whatever reason, if they're kind of bringing you down or if they're kind of hindering your progress, or if they just don't match your progress right now. So we're not all necessarily in the same place that we were in when we started Weight Watchers. So if you needed to disconnect with somebody just to kind of, you know, cut them off, fantastic. But then I wanted you to reconnect with somebody that could help your progress. I did it before we even started the chat last week. I got rid um, of a girl. I can't even think what she's called now. It's Kim something. Don't even know how I started following her. I'll never have her life. Don't want her life. I'll never be as thin as her. Don't want to be as thin as her. Just didn't make sense. I have no idea why I started following her to start with. But every time her video, every time it would come up, it would say blah, blah, blah. Kim M. Fim, Kim M. Fitzpatrick. And sorry, Kim M. Fitzpatrick. I know you're not watching this, but, but if you were, sorry, I disconnected with you because I don't know why I should have not never been connected. And it got to the point, it just irritated me when it would say that her videos were going live. But then I reconnected with a couple of other people and started following them. And I was like, you know what? Really, really more in line with these people. And one of them um, was our connected with a gardening group. John's going to be thrilled to hear that. And then another one, I, um, I, one of my friends had connected with a hiking group and it's not hikes like strenuous hikes. It's just like little day hikes. Um, but actually Melissa, I think, didn't you like to hike? Didn't you go on a couple of hikes? I may invite you to that group too. So let's see how you did for your homework. It was hashtag social swap. Lynn went above and beyond as always and just deleted people. So she just went through and deleted some people. Okay. They were people who only ever posted negative things. And Lynn was like, nope, nope, nope. Hello, Lisa from Arkansas. Um, Melissa, I may show that to you because it looked like there were some pretty interesting ones. And the group, and I'm not trying to sidetrack, but the group that my friend is in, it seems like a pretty, I don't know, seems like a pretty cool group. But Lynn just went through and she just delete, 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 delete. She just hacked some people, okay, that were only posting negative things. Lynn is such an inspiration that I hope if you're already friends with her on Facebook that you will go and flood her feed by giving her back some of those positive vibes she is constantly handing out. So she, her, and, um, and another lady named Karen, hello, Jennifer, they, every day, every day, they're handing out positive vibes. Those are people we need to spend more time with and cut some of these people that we don't need to spend as much time with. Melissa did go down a little different direction and she stopped following some political feeds. So she stopped following some of the political feeds and some of the news feeds. And you know what? Right now, this is like horrible. It is horrible. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I'm just sick to death of li listening to it. So I think that was a great idea. And instead she went a little, um, she replaced them with, um, with, um, feeds that have inspirational and motivational posts. Awesome. Fantastic. That is fantastic. And then Janelle went through and cleaned up. She just cleaned up. She got rid of several negative Nellies. They have now been deleted, deleted from her life. And I know that you all will benefit from it. So bravo to everyone who did their homework this week. Y'all are amazing and fantastic as always. This week though, we are talking about, oh gosh, this week's topic is how to build a satisfying meal. And if John is still listening, he will so know what I'm talking about. And Casey will get this when she listens to this later. There is nothing worse than getting to the end of a meal and thinking, ah, oh, why didn't somebody tell me that there was ham on the other side of the bar? Okay, that was a Thanksgiving to remember. So not telling my dad that there was ham on the other side of the bar is a story that John will never, ever live down. Okay. That year, my grandmother was in the hospital. So my dad's mom was in the hospital. We had to eat Thanksgiving. Hello, Liz from San Angelo. We had to eat Thanksgiving 
out that year, so we had to eat it out. We were giving, we were all having a, I didn't know there was ham on the other side of the bar kind of day. It was just that kind of day, okay? It's not where we wanted to be. It's not what we wanted to be doing. Nobody was happy. It wouldn't have mattered what they fed us, okay? But um, not having a ham, didn't know there was ham on the other side of the bar kind of day can mean a lot of things on any given day. One day it might mean that what you ate was too many points. You hadn't planned for it. Or it might be there wasn't enough food. Or it might be not the kind of food you wanted or the food wasn't good. Uh, maybe it was something you wouldn't have chosen if you had known, God had been given other information. Um, or you find out after you're already done eating that the one thing that you were looking for was just on the other side of the serving line and you didn't see it. That's what happened to my dad that day. So some pro tips for building a satisfying meal. First thing is you got to kind of know what's on your plate. If you can, you need to find, figure out what's going to be on your plate. We're going to be talking a lot um, tonight and then over the next few weeks about some summer eating, summer party eating, summer get together eating. Just summer is just different. I don't, know, I don't know if it is for you, but it's just different for me the way that we eat. So one thing that you can do is either draw on a piece of paper or you can section off a paper plate. You can draw, you know, on a paper plate. Gwen has us do that sometimes uh, for Thanksgiving, but it's perfect for summer also. Or if you happen to already have um, one of those divided plates that shows what your portions are, fantastic. That would be even better. Um, but what will be on your little divided sections on your plate for a satisfying meal, especially a satisfying summer meal? Is it going to have protein on it? Will your plate in include some protein? What's it going to be? How much will it be? How much of that plate are you going to take up with it? Will it have some fruits and veggies on it? Is it going to be one kind? Will it be multiple kinds? Um, how much of the plate will they be taking up? Alyssa went to that swing party. Um, that was just yesterday. It feels like days ago, but it was just yesterday. And she decided that on her plate, half of it was going to be taken up with a hot dog with ketchup. And the entire rest of the plate, the other half of the plate was watermelon. She didn't want any potato chips. She didn't want a cookie with ice cream. She wanted half of her plate filled up with watermelon. That was perfect. Um, are you going to have car any carbs or any starchy veggies? It's a okay. Is it something that you want to plan? Is it something that you could live without? Do you maybe not want to have as many or add something, want to make sure you get it? Is it something that you'll regret later? Is it something that you can try to fit the points in for? The food is not on this plate yet. So this virtual plate that you're either drawing on a piece of paper or that you're marking onto a paper plate, it's not on there yet. So you can make as many changes as you like now, okay? So today, tonight, tomorrow, whenever you're planning this plate, that's the time, that's the time to make these changes. So like I always tell my countertop customers, you can make as many changes as you want until it's cut. Once it's cut, you're done. So you know what? Make as many changes as you, as you like until it's on your plate. Once it's on your plate, it's kind of hard to go back. Okay. The second thing is mind the rum and you might want to keep an eye on the Arnold, Arnold Palmer's too. So in the famous words of Jack Sparrow, mind the rum, when he says, mind the rum, of course, he's worried about them spilling a drop of rum because they're on a remote island. They found all these bottles of rum, but they don't know when they're going to have any, you know, ever again. But while you're minding the rum, especially during those summer, um, especially during summer social events, um, it may be a matter of minding the points too. So a few ways to enjoy festive beverages, or as Gwen calls them, festive adult beverages, and they don't always have to be adult beverages, um, and keep your meal more satisfying because let's face it, if you go to like, let's say a luau this summer and you think you're going to have a mata or a pina colada, um, or, um, a margarita or something like that, having a satisfying meal isn't always just about the food. Sometimes it's about what you're drinking, you know, with the food. So a couple of things that I found. One is, you know, ways to keep your meal satisfying. One is new to me. I did not know this existed. I have no idea how long this has existed, but Chick-fil-A has something called a Sunjoy. Okay, who else knew that they had that? Go ahead and embarrass me if you already knew that they had that. I accidentally found it on the app probably two weeks ago, and I was tickled to death. So a Sunjoy is a half-to-half -half mix. So it's half unsweet tea and half diet lemonade um, for only one point. It's, it's only one point versus a virgin Ar Arnold Palmer, which would be four to six points. It was delicious. So for those of you who don't like unsweet tea, trust me, it was sweet enough. You did not need, you did not need sweet tea to go with this. So Chick-fil-A's Sun Joy, I highly recommend. That was one thing that I found. Second thing, 
Um, Hungry Girl boasts a perfect pina colada. Um, it only has five ingredients, and it's three. Okay, good. Lynn didn't know about it either. Melissa knew, but she didn't know what it was called, and Lynn didn't know about it. Awesome. I wasn't just me. Um, but Hungry Girl has a perfect pina colada. It's only five ingredients. When I found it, I was like, that is so simple. It is an alcoholic beverage. You don't have to use the, um, the rum that she says to use in there. So that would make it four ingredients, but it's five ingredients, including the liquor, and it's only three points. I think that's pretty darn good for an alcoholic beverage to, oh, to only be three points. And a pina colada, that rates up pretty high. That rates up pretty high on my flavor scale. Um, I love those. I think they are fantastic. Or you can do things like use fun, delicious, zero calorie cocktail mixes. I know Deanna, if she was here, she would just be chatting, 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 chatting. She does lots of things. She uses some fizzy water. She uses some different things because she does love her adult beverages when they're at the races and at other, at other events. Um, but you could use some zero calorie cocktail mixes. You could make mocktails because they don't already have the alcohol in them. They're just cocktail mixes. So you can use, you make mocktails to keep your festive adult beverage alcohol free and super low points, or you can make a festive, festive adult beverage and keep the points really low by using these, you know, oh, there's so many different skinny um, cocktail mixes, but I did find one and that I'll post the link for later. And it was a 20 flavor mix. Yeah, and Carol Lou says Skinny Girl has a lot of good cocktails too, like margaritas and things. Yes, she does. Um, mostly in the bigger bottles, sometimes in the smaller bottles. We actually used to sell them at Casey Kitchen Center, and every one of them that we ever tried was good. But I found a 20, uh, 20 flavor mix um, on Amazon, and it's um, from Thoughtfully Skinny Cocktails, and it included peach bellini, lemon drop, blood orange margarita, mojito, Sydney sunrise, and more. And they were single, like, like single, I hate to call them shots, but they were like, single serve little bottles of eat of 20 different um flavors and so each person could make you know could make their own there are zero calorie cocktail mixer it is sugar free obviously i just said zero calorie sugar free gluten free vegan vegetarian nut and dairy free and i'll be posting a link to those um on the on this chat when casey posts this um and i'll remember i'll get a tiny 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 little affiliate fee which helps um, further the fun, help spread the fun and helps fund the fun. Um, so yeah. So if y'all wait until I post that, that would be awesome and fantastic. So I could earn that little teeny tiny, um, bit. And Debbie says they have packets of Margaritaville mix and just, just ask for a shot of tequila and water. Awesome. Did not know that. Okay. Then you've got some summer savings decision time. I know y'all know this, I've said this before, but choosing not to decide is still a decision, okay? So if you elect, if you decide not to make a decision on something, you're still deciding because you're deciding not to decide. So let's say, for instance, that you're going to a family cookout and you know, you know that these things are going to be there. You know that there will be store-bought uh, potato salad. You know that there will be deviled eggs. You know that there will be watermelon. And you know that Karen's mother, Sharon, is bringing her famous coconut cake. Okay, you've got some decisions to make, okay? So store-bought potato salad is approximately six points for a half a cup, and it's store-bought. You could go get it if you wanted it. Deviled eggs are approximately one to two points, depending on who and how they were made, for half of an egg, which is one deviled egg. And we have lots of debates over whether one deviled egg is, a, is one half, or if one deviled egg is the whole egg divided into halves. But I'm saying it's one to two points for the half, the stuffed, the filled half deviled egg. So you've got six point, approximately six points for the store-bought potato salad, approximately one to two points for half, for that one, that one half of a deviled egg. Watermelon is zero points, unless they went crazy and put some liquor in it or something like that. But for the most, just normal watermelon is zero points. Even if it has salt on it, it is zero points. But Sharon's famous coconut cake is pretty darn famous. And for a two by three slice, so a two by three slice is like that big. It's unknown territory. Like nobody knows. Nobody on the planet knows how many points it is. The best you can do is to look up something that's close. So I'm going to call it 16 to 20 points. I never have found anything that's even close to her coconut cake 
taste-wise, points-wise, recipe-wise, whatever. So I'm going to call it about 16 to 20 points for a two by three piece of it. Um, so here's where your decision comes in. You can decide to have all four items and be at approximately 26 points. That doesn't include anything else you might have eaten. Or you can leave off, you can decide to leave off the store-bought potato salad that you can literally have anytime you want it. And then you've only spent 20 points. Or um, you can decide that you won't decide until you get there. But wow, wow, um, what a decision. I don't know how that plays out for you. But if I don't decide until, if I already know what there's going to be, and if I don't decide until I get there, I end up eating all of it. And then I'm disappointed in myself, or I skip the one thing that I wanted, like Sharon's uh, coconut cake, and live to regret it until I see her the next year, okay? Or I can decide to have the cake and count it and be happy with my decision, or even better, I can decide to enjoy a half of a piece of the cake, eat it slowly, savor every single bit of it, and have no regrets and even have a few points left for the rest of my day. So that leads me to your homework. Your homework is, that's exactly right, Debbie. So your homework is hashtag summer savings, hashtag S-U-M-M-E-R-S-A-V-I-N-G-S. And as much as John's new paycheck is freaking me out, and I'd love to say that the savings will be talking about money, we're not talking about money. We are talking about points. <laughs> so I know you have at least one summer event coming up, whether it's a work party, a family get together, a party at the beach, a party at the lake, a boat party, something. You've got something coming up, a picnic with yourself. You have something coming up this summer where you're going to have to make some decisions about this. So hashtag summer savings. Um, I want you to pick one food that you know is going to be, thank you, Lynn, for posting that, that I, that you know is going to be coming up during whatever this event is. Um, and I want you to tell us how you'll save. So you might, it might be something like um, deciding to skip it. It might be something like taking a half a portion, like Debbie was talking about, taking a smaller portion. portion. Um, you may be bringing your own skinny cocktail mixes. Whatever you're going to do, do your homework, do your homework, do your homework, hashtag summer savings. So just let us know what that one or you know multiple foods are and how you're going to kind of manipulate them. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in the second half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to talk about some more summer savings. And again, I wish it was talking about money savings, um, but we'll talk about that more in the second half. Hashtag summer savings. Okay, so because, ooh, Carol Lou's going to save up some points for some potato chips. That sounds good. So... I'm going to go ahead and get my drink um, because I am parched. This is the first day of the um, water challenge over on the If You Have an Egg Facebook group, and I am all over it. Oh, my goodness. Wait, hold on. Debbie is giving us some bad news. Debbie says, stay away from potato salad and deviled eggs at a party like that because no mayo at parties. It's food, poison waiting, food poisoning waiting to happen, LOL. Yeah, maybe that may be true. Yeah. I know. Well, and everybody I know, like those kinds of parties that I'm going to, nobody is nobody is making homemade potato salad. It's that's why I keep saying store bought potato salad. Skip it, skip it, skip it. Okay, so we are at the halfway point, and Sandra just has just reminded us all that it is water time. We are also drinking water. This is the only time during the week that I know for a fact that you get a sip of water. Um, and Alyssa thinks it's hilarious. She is begging to come do another chat. Like she was super disappointed that she didn't get to come tonight. And I said, honey. You, you wouldn't be able to do anything except sit here. So I promised her that in the, ne in the next couple of weeks that we will find, I'll find something that she can make um, for us to, you know, that she can make with us. But everybody go ahead and get your drink of water. It's also the first day of the water challenge over on the If You Have an Egg group. So you can count this. You can count this and go back and report to Julie um, later that you had your water. So, and we drink good spring water here at um, at work at Casey Kitchen Center. So, always a delight to be drinking the spring water. Okay, since I'm going to be moving around a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and strip down, and but then put on my apron. If you are new to our chats, we um, have a one-hour chat. The first 30 minutes is all classroom. We talk about whatever the Weight Watchers topic was for the week before. And then the second half, we do something fun. So for the second half of tonight, and again, today is Sunday, uh, April, Sunday, June the 9th. Um, 
So for the second half of tonight's chat, we are going to be making some summer decisions, some summer savings decisions, and we're going to be planning like we're going to a party and we're going to be checking out some things. Okay. So first thing is, um, I don't know if y'all know this, but in your WW app, if you go to, and I'm really, I'm really just not, I don't know. I'm just really not digging this drop down menu being your icon. I liked it better when it was the three horizontal lines. If anybody wants to tell Weight Watchers that, feel free. Somebody call see Mrs. Demi since Oprah doesn't care anymore. Um, just call her and let her know. I really don't like it. I don't know. I liked it better when your icon was over here and it represented things just about you and not like everything life in general. Okay, so for now though, we have your icon and it does your little drop down menu. It used to be the three, it used to be the three horizontal lines. I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but you can scroll down and let me see if I can find it upside down. And we are going to go to I may not be able to do it upside down. I might have to, oh, week right here, weekly plan. So there is a little icon right here that looks like, it looks like a clipboard and a stopwatch. It's kind of what it looks like right there. And it says weekly plan. If you click on weekly plan, has anybody even ever done this? So has anyone ever made a weekly plan? Um, I've done it a handful of times. We are not going to make an entire week, so calm down. Everybody just relax. We're not planning an entire week. I'm just going to show you how you can plan a day in that week. And we can, we're going to use this. We're going to use that for your, um, for your summer savings, for your, um, yeah. Danielle, if you need help finding it Tuesday, just holler at me. So we're going to make a plan. So this is your weekly plan. You can either click on one of these days and go ahead and start planning or you can go to edit, and if you go to edit, it brings up those days. Um, and I'm getting ready to show that I can't read upside down. If you get out of it, it'll ask you if you want to continue. Or it's already, you can do uh, my plans and you can add to my plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that Saturday, so we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we're going to say that on Saturday, we have a picnic. We're going to say that we have a picnic to go to. So I have chosen Saturday, and you can see that my little icon, the S for Saturday, is highlighted. And now it says Saturday right here. Um, and I can add to my plan. So I'm going to start planning. So when you go to start planning, it's going to give you some choices. So this one says, what are you looking for? And you can search meals, recipes, or foods. You can go to recipes or foods that you've saved. You can go to pre-made meal plans. And the pre-made meal plans right now for today, and they change all the time. Here's a five-day plan for family-friendly cooking, cooking for one, big batch cooking, nearly no cook, or vegetarian. That's assuming that you want to do an entire, like you wanted to do a five day, those are five day meal plans. So I, that's not what I'm doing. What we're doing is we're going to do this for, so we're saying we're going to go to a picnic on Saturday. So for this picnic Saturday, I need to know, um, I need to know what do you all want to have? So if you're going to go to a picnic, what are some things that you automatically expect? And let's say that you're not hostessing the picnic, you are going to a picnic. So what are you going to do? What What are some foods that you expect to be at the picnic? And just start shouting them out, and I'll put I'll put a couple of mine down too. Um, and again, you're not in charge of the picnic. You're going to somebody else's picnic. So tell me some things that you expect to be there. And I picked picnic instead of cookout because Gwen did cookout on Tuesday, and then I couldn't I couldn't get off of it. So I couldn't get off of that. Okay. So somebody tell me who's the money off first person that's going to tell me. Okay, Vicki expects there's to be expects there to be crackers and cheese. Okay, so I'm going to explore foods and I'm going to say crackers and cheese. And let's see if I find anything. So I've got rich cheese crackers. I know that's not what you're talking about, but we're going to add rich cheese crackers to our plan. And we are going to say that it is. Okay, let's see. So we're going to start planning and we're going to add cheese and crackers. Let's 
Okay, so we're gonna add those rich cheese crackers to that and we're gonna say that our picnic is for lunch. And that is gonna be on Saturday. Okay, then we'll let's see, we're gonna have, uh, okay, so we're gonna do hot dogs. Sherry wants to do hot dogs, sounds good. Um, Sherry, is that going to be um, a hot dog with a bun? Is it going to be any particular kind of hot dog? Or like a plain hot dog on a roll? Do we want to call it that? Let's call it that one. So let's do a plain hot dog on a roll. And we're going to put that on Saturday. And we've got watermelon for sure. Okay, so let's see watermelon. Ooh, watermelon snowballs. Okay, sorry. Watermelon snowballs came up. That looks good. We need to figure out how to make those. Okay, so we're just going to do some cut watermelon. Oops. Okay, let me just pick watermelon, please. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Watermelon, okay. So watermelon was zero, so we're going to pick that one. Okay, and let's see what else we've got. Sanders says all kinds of fruit. Lynn says cold cuts and cheese. Okay, so let's add some cold cuts. Okay, we're gonna pick the we're gonna pick something from Subway. Okay, and that's gonna be again on Saturday. Okay. Um Sarah says a turkey burger, a fat-free turkey burger. Okay. Oh, Carol Lou says pasta salad. Let's do let's do pasta salad. We're gonna save um we're gonna save Sarah's for when we switch some of this stuff out. Okay, so here is an here is a recipe. So when you start typing as you're doing this plan, when you start typing in here. It's gonna pull up a bunch of options on Weight Watchers recipes. So we are going to pick, let's see. We're just gonna pick one. So we're gonna pick one because I know Carol Lou, I know she's gonna pick something that's gonna be good for us. We are going to do an easy pasta salad. So we're gonna do that one and we're gonna use one of the recipes we're gonna use one of the White Watchers recipes. And we are gonna do that for, oops. Come on, for Saturday. Okay, and let's see what else we've got. So we've got salad, salad, just good salads. Wanna try watermelon sorbet in my creamy? Oh, that sounds fantastic. Vicky says cucumber salad, uh, Mary Ann, let's see. I don't know, Mary Ann, I don't know why I can't ever see yours, let's see. Yeah, and Sandra says it's just as easy to pre-track, that's exactly right. Oh, goodness, Melissa says her husband's family always brings fried chicken from Walmart or KFC. Let's do that. So, let's go to, um, Let's find KFC. KFC. Let's pick, ooh, original recipe chicken breast, but with the skin. Okay. And then what else? See. Okay. So right now, what we have is. Okay, so whoops. So we're gonna go to Saturday and we're gonna see what we have planned. Okay, on Saturday. Okay, so on Saturday. Well, oops, I tracked it on Sunday. Oopsie, I did it on Sunday instead of on Saturday. Oh, well, you'll just have to 
just pretend like it says Saturday. Okay, our picnic is on Sunday now. Okay, so we have, oh wait, I'm on the wrong week. I'm on the wrong week. Hold please. Okay, so Saturday. Okay, so Saturday for our picnic. Oh, and it's Father's Day. Perfect. Okay, perfect, Danielle. Thank you. So, Danielle, like, I know, do you work at the calendar company or something? Or do you just know all the, do you just know all the days of the holidays? Because you obviously know more than I do. Okay, so right now we've got one KFC original recipe chicken breast for 10 points. We've got a serving of an easy pasta salad that was on Weight Watchers that was only four points. We've got some cold cuts, four points. We've got some cheese and crackers for three points. Um, we have got a plain hot dog on a roll for 10 points. Uh, we don't have any beverages yet. What beverages do you all want? And nobody has said anything about ice cream. I mean, what are you expecting? I'm not asking. Um, oh, I'll tell John you said that. I'm not asking what you're going to eat. I'm asking what you think is going to be there because we've got almost 20 minutes to pick what we're going to eat. So... Again, we've got original recipe chicken. We've got chicken breast from KFC. We've got pasta salad, cold cuts, um, cheese and crackers, um, hot dog on a roll. Ooh, Katie says there will be, Katie says there's going to be an ice cream cake. So let's go to ice cream cake. Okay. Um, that's like 11 points if we do that. And that's going to be on that day. Nope, that's not what day I said. I accidentally, I've tracked some of them to lunch and some of them to dinner. Um, Carolee says ice water. Sandra says Diet Coke. Kate, okay, Katie says lemonade. So let's do, let's add lemonade to that day. But I tell you what, though, we're going to add, actually, let's go ahead and add an Arnold Palmer because we can lighten this up in here in just a few minutes. So we're going to say that somebody has shown up with Arnold Palmer um, mix. And it's, here's a, um, here is a regular Arnold Palmer, and we're going to put it on um, for that day. Okay, so with that, so now we've got chicken breast pasta salad, cold cuts, cheese crackers, oh, chips. I forgot about chips. Okay, hold on. So let's do some chips. Okay, we're going to add some potato chips. And then we're going to do strawberry shortcake, and that's going to be it. Because I'm going to talk until we run out of time. Okay, so there's the strawberry shortcake. Okay, so now of our choices at our picnic. So again, we weren't in charge of this picnic. Somebody else was in charge of this picnic. So somebody brought KFC. So we've got, oh, wait, Debbie. Thank you, actually for saying baked beans because I have a segue into that. So hold on just a second. Debbie says baked beans. Okay, so a half a cup of baked beans is six points. So we're gonna do the baked beans. Okay, so again, somebody else is in charge of this. Of this. So what we have, we ha if, we, if we ate one of everything, so if we ate a KFC chicken breast with the skin, if we had one serving of the pasta salad that we found in the weight Watch, that we found on a Weight Watchers recipe, if we have um, some of the cold cuts, a couple of cheese and crackers, a half a cup of the baked beans, one piece of the strawberry shortcake, a handful of potato chips because it's really not many, an Arnold Palmer, a piece of ice cream cake, a plain hot dog on a roll. That means nothing else even on it. A plain hot dog on a roll. You can have a plain hot dog on a roll, but nothing else on it. Um, we're at 72 points. And does that sound like, so does that combination of things, does that sound like a satisfying meal to anybody for 72 points? If you want to eat this, you absolutely, you absolutely can eat all of that. But remember, if you don't, if you choose not to decide if you choose to not make a choice to not make a choice you're still choosing you're still making a decision to not decide does that make sense so if somebody decides that that is okay so like carol said that's a lot of food i think that is a lot of food too and it's two desserts but there is there have been days that i would that i would eat that that i would eat that many points so 
Okay, so Sarah says she loves hot dogs with lots of fun toppings. Okay, so what fun toppings? What fun toppings, Sarah? Because we're going to rearrange a little bit of this. So I'm going to say Sarah's Perfect Picnic, we're taking off the KFC um, chicken breast. Okay, you can have KFC anytime. This is a picnic. Somebody, some dad is, or your cousin or whatever is standing over here grilling these hot dogs for you with love and whatever. So I'm going to say let's take, let's get rid of, of the let's get rid of the chicken although um now lynn is saying breast piece of fried chicken pull off the crispy chicken and the chicken is zero points yeah so lynn is saying that we can do that we can do that we can just take off the skin but we're going to make sarah's hot dog here so we're going to put on onions ketchup mustard relish on a toasted roll okay so we're going to add onions okay that's zero points we're going to add mustard that's also zero points. Okay. I'm going to add some sauerkraut to her. Um, I'm going to add some sauerkraut to her, um, to her hot dog. I don't know if you like sauerkraut, Sarah, but you're getting sauerkraut on your hot dog. So we've got sauerkraut. Okay. Also zero points. And she likes relish. So we are going to add um, a one tablespoon of relish. That's going to be one point. Okay, so we're going to add that to Sarah's hot dog. So now we have, um, so now we've got, we've gotten rid of the chicken breast. Oh, hello, Catherine. So we've gotten rid of the, so we've gotten rid of the chicken breast. Um, cause to be honest, okay, Lynn, so that's a great idea, but if it's KFC, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to end up eating the skin. So I would have blown through the 10 points. So Vicki, Okay, Sarah's not a fan of sauerkraut, but she's going to give me. She's going to, because it's my chat, she's going to give me that one. Um, Vicki says, yeah, i got to have Vidalia onions and mustard. So I've got I've got that. You, I got you covered. So right now, we're at 63 points. So we've already taken nine points off by just by rearranging a couple of things. I'm going to say, if we're going to have the hot dog with all those toppings, I'm going to get rid of the um, cold cuts. So I'm probably not going to go have cold cuts. And honestly, I'm probably not even going to have the cheese and crackers. Um, because I'm gonna I'm gonna bring bring out something else here in just a second that I had completely forgotten about. I had completely forgotten about. Um, and um, we'll see. Well, Sarah. So Sarah, we took off ten points for the chicken breast, but we added back one point for the relish. So that's why we gotta have a difference of nine. Even I can do that math. I'm gonna leave. So now we're down to fifty six points, and we still have pasta salad. We've got a hot dog on a bun, a regular hot dog. This is a regular beef hot dog. This is not a light hot dog. This is not a turkey hot dog. It's not a faked hot dog. It's a regular hot dog on a regular bun. I left that alone. But we have pickle relish, sauerkraut, mustard, Vidalia onions. Um, we have all of that on there. And we've got it, we've got this down to 56 points. This is still a lot of food though. Okay, next we have. Uh, let's see. We've got that Arnold Palmer. So let's go ahead. Oh, and Vicki says, let's have a cucumber salad made with vinegar and no mayo. Okay, let's see if we can find a cucumber salad. So let's see. Here is a yogurt and cucumber salad. That sounds good. Here's a yogurt and cucumber salad. We get an entire cup of it for three points. Okay, so we're going to swap out that pasta salad. We're going to take off the easy pasta salad. So I'm going to take it off. And instead, we're going to have a yogurt and cucumber salad for only three points. Okay, uh, Debbie mentioned baked beans. So these have been um, guaranteed to me to be some of the best baked beans that I'll ever eat. So I did, and they were they were on sale today at Kroger. So yes, I did go ahead and get two of them, but they're the Bush's Best, which Bush's is made here in just right outside of Knoxville. Um, zero sugar added, and the Bush's zero sugar added is, uh, let's see, be, uh, it is one. So instead of um, five or six points for a half of a cup, it's one. So we're going to get rid of the regular baked beans. We're going to get rid of those. And we're going to add these no sugar added um, baked beans. So now we've got us down to 50 points. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Strawberry shortcake. Why don't we get rid of the strawberry shortcake? And let me, I'm sorry, I've got to go get something out of the refrigerator. So give me just a second. Something that I couldn't get out until now. So let me go grab that. Okay, so since I just took away, or I'm taking away the strawberry shortcake and the ice cream cake, why don't we do, and yes, Carol Lou, G. Hughes barbecue sauce to these beans. These would be awesome. That would be awesome. And it was also on sale at Kroger this week. So let's to get rid of that strawberry shortcake and take some kind of fruit. Everybody loves watermelon. There's plenty of watermelon salad recipes. I've got a watermelon and feta um, recipe that's on the if, on ifyouhaveanegg.com. But do some fruit, some kind of fruit, strawberry, something like that. And do um, Ready Whip, the Ready Whip Zero Sugar um, topping. This is only one point for two tablespoons. So we're going to take off the ice cream cake. We're going to get rid of it. We're going to get rid of the strawberry shortcake. And instead, we're going to do um, like some strawberries or some other kind of fruit with some kind of, um, you know, like lighter whipped topping. So we're going to do a ready whip. We're going to do that, two tablespoons of that. We're going to do some watermelon or some strawberries. We're going to do those. We've got that on there. Okay, so now we have, uh, let's see, we've got Sarah's hot dog. And yeah, Debbie says watermelon, uh, fat-free feta, and basil. It is, it is, it is absolutely fantastic. And I drizzle um, G Hughes balsamic um, vinegar vinaigrette on it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so now we've got the real hot dog on a real bun, and we've got mustard, sauerkraut, sweet pickle relish, Vidalia onions. Um, on that, we have. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? We've got a yogurt and cucumber salad, which sounds fantastic. We have the Bushes Zero Sugar Added Baked Beans. We've got either some watermelon or some strawberries with some whipped topping on them. We have got this down to 27 points, but I'm going to add back into things that aren't going to add very many points. And actually, I'm going to swap points on one. One of them is, why don't you volunteer to bring the drinks? And you could do something like this. You could use some of the already sweetened tea that Anne has, has me addicted to now. How yummy would this be? This is the already sweetened Southern Breeze pre-sweetened cold brew tea. All I could think about while I was getting ready for this chat was, wow, the blackberry in this or the watermelon and get some of the actual fruit. So like if you did the watermelon flavor and had actual watermelon floating in there, maybe with a little bit of basil, how yummy would that be? And you would be like, Super, super popular on everybody's list or like the blackberry one and have some um, have some of the blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, whatever floating in it, you would be voted. And especially if you use um, some Sonic rabbit poop ice in there, you would be voted most popular girl at the ball. Okay, absolutely the most popular. People would love that. So, okay, so I'm taking away, I'm taking away Arnold Palmer and I'm putting in a fruit water or fruit tea, sorry, that we are making. So we are making a fruit tea um, and it is going to be zero points. So now we've got zero points for that. And because I took away, um, Vicki, I'll post the link to this later. You can get it on Amazon. But remember, Melissa, don't send anybody to Amazon yet. I need y'all to use my affiliate links. So I get the little teeny, teeny, tiny, I really, really, really need to buy that little tiny ice cube tray. I'm gonna try it really bad. But remember, and I have to work for all my money now to do this. I can't just I can't just spend John's money to do these chats. Um, but anyway, since I took away the cold cuts and I took away the cheese and crackers, Casey and I discovered this. We rediscovered this at a retirement party that we went to um, a couple of weeks ago. And um, hold on, I'm going to put this in. Uh, okay, so we rediscovered this a couple of weeks ago at a retirement party and I had forgotten how much I love these um, cocktail shrimp. Hello. And these were obviously also on sale at Kroger today for $5. All of these shrimp with the cocktail sauce, I actually found it on here, Kroger, the Kroger brand and this can be, this is three points. So I took away the cold cuts because you can have cold cuts every day. I took away the cheese and crackers. You can have cheese and crackers every day. 
again, how popular would you be if you showed up with or if, um, or how popular would your host be if they provided for you? If they said, oh, hey, you know, I know you're doing Weight Watchers. What would you like at the picnic? If you said, oh, shrimp cocktail, that would be awesome and fantastic. So all of that is only three points. So talk about being able to snack on stuff and being, oh my gosh, it'd just be like, I'm excited about this picnic and we're not even having it. Okay, so let's see where we're at. So does anybody remember what number we started with on our expected picnic items? It was 72. I'm going to go ahead and tell you all because we only have like four minutes left. So our original number was 72. And I got to tell you, I mean, strawberry shortcake sounded pretty good. Um, I wasn't really super excited about the ice cream cake, potato chips I can have any day, Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know, like my mother-in-law wore it out. I can have Kentucky Fried Chicken any day. But cocktail shrimp, cocktail shrimp with sauce. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Super awesome pre-sweetened tea with some kind of fancy fruit floating in it. Heck yeah, sign me up. Watermelon, some kind of a watermelon salad or strawberries or something with some, you know, with some whipped topping. Oh yeah, baked beans. And those are, they've I've been told those are delicious. Baked beans, yep, definitely keeping those on my list. A yogurt and cucumber salad, that sounds so light, so refreshing, so yummy. Um, like I could go play frisbee after that. I could go run around with the girls. If we wanted to do some other, you know, kind of activity after our picnic. And then our real hot dog, our real hot dog on a real bun with Sarah's favorite sauerkraut and mustard, Vidalia onions, sweet pickle relish, all the good stuff. We are down to 24 points. I don't know about y'all, but I get 23 points in a day. So that would only be one point over my daily. And you know what I just noticed? I accidentally left the potato chips on there. Boom. That's with potato chips. You could even have the potato chips. How fantastic. Okay. I'm planning this. So I'm having this picnic. I don't know who I'm having it with, but everything that's on this list, I am having this picnic with somebody. Okay. That's all I got for you tonight. I hope that y'all had um, a good time. I hope that y'all had some good things to think about. Um, please remember, please, 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 please. Um, if I share an Amazon link and it's something that you want, please use my links. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. Um, if you are watching this later on YouTube, again, just let that next video roll over and please, please, please watch them because I do get a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Um, but thank you all for everything. And then thank you again for the stars tonight and um, for tonight's chat. You all are fantastic and amazing. And I know that this too shall pass and we will be able to buy fun stuff again, um, someday, but y'all have a great week and I will see you next time. Thanks for the birthday wishes, and I'll let y'all, uh, trust me, we'll talk about when it's my birthday. I'll announce it on Thursday. But y'all have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Good night.